Let us look at another example on our Titanic data set for our decision tree. So we are using a model here called what? So you can read about this algorithm and this is a predictive modeling approach which is used very commonly in statistics and in machine learning. Let's look at the file reader. Configure. Select our train data set. Then we want to select our column filter. Connect them. Configure and remove the name, the ticket and the cabin. Then we can do partitioning. and select 80% of our data and finally we can use the decision tree learner in fact you can see the decision tree in the recommended notes you can see that nine is very smart at detecting what you should be using let us connect them And here I want to use my class column as survived. Now we can't find survived since it is not a string value. So we will have to go back and configure it as a string value. Let us use the quality measure as our Gini index. The pruning method would be MDL and we also want to use a binary nominal splits. If you want to read more about these keywords you can simply do a google search and read about them. But this is just to give you a feel of how decision tree works. Right click, execute and open views and you get a decision tree like this so this tells us that overall the survival rate is about 37 percent if i look at females the survival rate is 72 percent and i can keep on drilling down to look at the passenger class and look at the fare you can also zoom in to a selected area like this Let us now select our decision tree predictor and we also want to look at the scorer. So let us grab the scorer node like this. So we want to connect our partitioning to our decision tree predictor and also the learner to our decision tree predictor and this value has to flow into our scorer like this. Now you notice that this is red this means that it is not happy with us. There is some configuration that we have to change. So let us go to configure and select the option called up in columns with normalized class distribution. Once you have done this, we can execute it and on the scorer, we want to select the first column and the second column. The first column will be survived and the second column will be survived predicted. Let us execute an open views and here we can see an accuracy of 82%. So this is called the confusion matrix and we can see our 82% accuracy 
and these numbers are nothing but the false positive and the false negative. You can also look at the accuracy statistics if you want to see even more details, but we will not be getting into this right now since we want to look at the ROC curve. So let us select the ROC curve. We will select the JavaScript. Let us connect the scorer to the ROC curve. Configure. Let us check that once again. Oh wait, we don't want to select the scorer and connect it to the ROC curve. We want to select our decision tree vector and connect it to the ROC curve. Configure. So our class column here will be survived. Our positive class value is zero. That means these are the people who died. And we want to remove everything and we simply want to include the survived value here, which is zero. Let us press OK and execute an open views. This creates the ROC curve for us. And what it tells us that if we wanted to create some type of an intervention strategy, I can find the 20% who are most likely to die. We can identify 60% of those who look like they will die. So that is a lift of nearly three and the model is very good at helping us identify those people who are at a higher risk of dying. 